Hello everybody, welcome to Detroit Become Human. So one of my uh, subscribers actually re recommended this game to me um, to play after I was done Sonic Mania. And I said, sure, why not? I actually just recently picked this game up because um, I've been hearing really great things about it. I have not really liked uh, Quantum Dream's other, ga other games like Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Um, just not my type of thing, but... Hello. Oh, hey, Chloe! Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm so, like, Android this is crazy. Before we begin, how real she looks. Like, holy shit. Your experience. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? <laughs> English? No, I speak Espanol. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, subtitles would probably be a good idea because I might be talking over stuff. Medium. Holy shit! Uh, hmm, I wonder. Probably medium size would be good. I, I feel like the small ones are actually pretty decent too. Please adjust your this is a really interesting way of uh, setting up um, all of your options. This is really cool. Barely visible. Uh, yeah, zero is good. We're pretty good. Let's just set all of this up. Thank you. Having an Android do it for you is a pretty interesting idea. I love how she looks. Like. Motion capture has come so far um, since, like, God, 2000, the early 2000s. It's insane, like, that it's been, like, 18 years or so. And, it, like, a lot can happen in that time. We'll do experience, though. We actually want to lose characters, because I feel like... Please do not turn off your console. If, uh, if we choose casual, then really it kind of takes away from the experience of the game, so... just a story. This... Is our future. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, I was gonna say, like, I haven't really liked, uh, Quantum Dream's other games, but, uh, the whole existential story and, like, struggle of androids has always been really, uh, something I've enjoyed in science fiction. Um, Nier Automata did it really well, and if you guys haven't seen that, um, check, check it out in, uh, on the channel playlist because I, I really enjoyed playing that game. It was like early uh, videos I did, so they're kind of rusty, but <laughs> yeah, they're great. Oh, okay, so we got, uh, I think this is his, Con his name is Connor, right? Yeah. So yeah, all the androids wear like these, uh, these bands and like uh, something that says Android on them so people can tell them apart from normal humans, so this is a nice house, Jesus. What's this? Picture? Oh! Is this the... Phillips John, Phillips Emma, Caroline. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so we had to use like the right stick to like control everything. That's pretty neat. Is there a fishy on the floor? Oh, hey! A dwarf Gourami. Oh, that thing's pretty. Leave it or save it? Well, of course we're gonna save the fish. Why not? This is a very beautiful fish. Holy crap. <laughs> what is that? Is that fish gonna save my life like later on in the game? That'd be hilarious. Software instability up? What the hell? That's strange. Okay. What kind of option is that? Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. An android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? <laughs> Androids are better than real people. We know this from science fiction, right? Like uh, another thing that I really, um, another story I really enjoyed was the Blade Runner movies, uh, especially 2049. Blade Runner 2049 is amazing. Talk to Captain Alzer. Oh, okay, fine. I guess I'll go talk to him first. Is my programming getting in the way <laughs> of me going anywhere else? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything. Oh, okay. Eh, I see you're just gonna ignore me. We can easily get it. <laughs> I love that look on his face. Like, really? Come on. Um, deactivation code. Tried its deactivation codes. The first thing we tried. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Do you know its name? 
listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Okay, my probability went down. That's great. Okay, let's figure out what happened, I guess. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Is this a gun case? Oh, it is. Clues. All right. <laughs> the gun is missing. <laughs> That's hilarious. A black hawk. Ooh, nice. What's that? Oh, it's uh, ammunition. Damn, this dude had a lot of ammunition. Reconstruct. Whoa, this is like some Arkham stuff. Holy crap. Or like the Batman games. That's a really cool idea. I love how those games did it, so... Okay, so we just have to scan that he took the the gun, I guess. Alright. That's all we needed? Yeah, it looks like it. Events analyzed. Zero or one out of one. Okay, perfect. Ooh, hey, that went up a little bit. Alright. That's good to know. So where should we go? Search hostage's room. Whoa, look at this room. It's pretty so purple. My wife would love this room. She's a big fan of purple, so. Oh, okay. Oh! That makes sense. Okay. So that's why she got taken. If you love the life you live, you will live a life of love. Ah, huh. okay. She's got one of those. Or she's one of those people with those. Ooh, a touchpad. Oh, that's pretty intuitive, using the touchpad. Whoa! Through my speaker, that's cool. Okay, so now we know its name. Or his name, I guess. I don't think an android would be like calling, being called it, so... Let's call it a man. Because, I mean, he looks like a guy, so... <laughs> Uh, and they're the best of friends, eh? So why the hell did he capture her, then? What happened? Whoa, holy crap! That thing got- or that she- sh uh, screen got shot to hell. <laughs> What's in this room? Oh, this must be the parents' room. This is a nice little place. Holy crap. Oh, this is where I was already, never mind. It is a nice room, though. Whoa, look at this kind of, like, decor right here. What is this thing? <laughs> Some kind of, like, it looks like a spine with, like, trees growing out of it. That's kind of neat, actually. Oh, a kitchen, all right. Examine the victims. Okay. There's two. Oh, hey, whoa. So this must have been where the gunshots came from, then. Oh. Press, didn't press down enough. And clues to analyze. This guy dead as fuck! <laughs> well, wait, what? Lower lung hemorrhage, internal bleeding. Okay. Left kidney perforated? Holy shit! This android really knew where to shoot. Upper lung hemorrhage, holy crap, man. That's insane. Deceased, Phillips John. Well, I mean, after that, I would assume, yeah, he, uh... He got shot in, like, all the worst places. Um, it's clear that the android could probably tell where to shoot him, though. Okay. Father was holding something. Oh, some kind of like, uh. He's gonna fall back. Oh, okay, so he dropped the tablet. Alright, okay, so we gotta just scan that. Alright, that works. So that's why we wanted to analyze that. I wonder if you could just find this tablet without having to do that. You know?
wonder what he was looking at. Oh, they were gonna replace the android. Oh, so that's why it went crazy? Because it was like, don't replace me! I love Emma. That's okay, that's uh. Whoa, that is really cool. It's a nice statue. Hey, a piano. Can I play the piano? <laughs> It's like, we got an investigation going on, Connor just starts, like, wailing on the piano. That'd be hilarious. Who's this person? Oh, it's a police person. Ah, uh, A policeman! Oh, okay. Anthony Deck. Oh, is that a reference to Blade Runner? That's pretty cool. That's a really early reference, too. <laughs> I think they'd hide something more like that. So yeah, if you're not sure, like, there's a there's a, a character in Blade Runner called Deckard, um, played by Harrison Ford, uh, that is a Blade Runner, and he kills androids, basically. Um, really awesome movies if you haven't seen them. Um, I'm sure this game takes heavy inspiration from them, as well as... Uh... Ooh, okay. Hotness, hostage witness the shooting. Oh, shit! Of the officer. Cop shot the deviant. Okay. So he actually did get the deviant, so that's good. Oh, we gotta go back here. So pretty much like what you want to look for is in the yellow ones, I guess. Oh, his gun. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like his gun fell under the table. Alright. That's pretty useful. So give me a sec here, my work is calling me. Hey, sorry, my wife was just calling me at work, so let's get back into it. <laughs> um, okay, so we noticed that the gun's under the table. So can we actually, like, pick up the gun then? Or... I'm surprised that the cops never actually found that. Oh yeah, you can. Hmm, I wonder if this will actually be helpful, though. Should we take it? Androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Oh! Uh, I probably should put that back then. I don't want to risk that option. I did not know that. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, is it <laughs> just back my ass up right into that guy's face? Okay, there's a magazine. Alright. What is this? Oh yeah, I just turned that off for him. <laughs> just boiling some water. I wonder if they're making potatoes. Okay, so I don't know if there's any more evidence we can find. I think that's really all that we could do, right? R2... Okay, so uh, the more time I spend here, the more time, uh, or like... What the hell is this? Okay. The, the more my profitability goes down. Okay. Why did the, why did he just lick the, <laughs> the crown? Is that gonna be helpful to, to us? Like, is, are the different models, like... Whoa! What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to me or what? Yes, yes, I'm going, okay. We're going outside. I gotta do everything for you? Oh, shit! Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Whoa, that's a beautiful shot, holy crap. Holy crap, he's really on the edge. Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh god, I can move while I'm doing this? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Empathize with him. Just like you. 
I know how you're feeling. What difference does it make if you're an animal? Oh, that doesn't help me. Oh shit. really cool get it like right in it I know you and Emma were very close you think she betrayed you but she's done nothing wrong she lied to me how I thought she loved me but I was wrong she's just like all the other humans Daniel, no. what did she do she's just a little girl she doesn't know what the fuck's going on they were going to replace you and you became upset that's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. Oh, God. But I was just there, tools. Something to throw away Please, when you're done with me. Listen. I know it's not your fault. Hmm, I don't know if I should help him or not. These emotions you're feeling are just errors I can save yourself. that guy after I uh, get the kid back, man. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. An android can't the love, though. Ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Yeah, sure, why not? It if it helps my situation, then sure. Trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Ooh, 93%. God damn. All right. I want to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Oh, Jesus. Really? Uh, compromise, sure. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Oh, 99%. I don't want to die. Oh, my God. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Hundred percent. Oh my God. Okay. I trust you. Oh, her knee. What did you do to her? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Jesus. They fucked him up. Oh my god. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. I had to. Even though you're an android, this situation would not be different if you were a person. So... This android was feeling some emotion, um, so I'm sure that's gonna play into like the whole main focus of the game. I'm going to assume, because um, every time Connor sees something, like he barely even reacted to the kid, but I noticed like when I saved the fish, and when uh, Daniel said that I lied to him, my software instability went up, and I wonder if that's like. Connor starts becoming like more human or you know he starts to gather emotions that way is like that the only way that Connor can change over the course of the game because it'd be interesting if that was the case holy crap look at the outcomes okay so there was two more there and then three more below that dismiss helicopter okay so you can choose like different things, um, like taking the cop's gun, leaving the fish. Holy crap. I wonder what happens if you unlock like all of these options here. That'd be really interesting. I would love to see like all the different income or uh, outcomes and stuff. Like, I just want to see how bad it can go. Cause like those ones you can lie to even build trust, uh, all that stuff. That's crazy. There's so many options you can do to change stuff. I like that a lot. Am I an android right now? 
Again? It looks like I'm starting up. Okay. That's neat. This is the top of the range household assistant. It costs ten thousand. That is a very bright jacket, kid. I kind of like it, actually. If I had a daughter, I'd buy her a jacket like that. Hey, too bad I don't like kids. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say? Wait. At the moment, we're doing a special. That's an android. At seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars, with a forty-eight months interest-free credit. Androids selling and androids. Okay. The oh, they're the whoa! They're the same guy. At night, it switches to surveillance. Whoa, that's so weird. Okay, <laughs> I kind of like that. How much is that one over there? The MP eight hundred is slightly more expensive, but it has many of the functions. Come along. I mean, I know they're only AI. Oh, hey, buddy, what's going on? I know they're only AI, but uh, it must be weird just standing there waiting to be bought. The car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX four hundred. Register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh, Kara, she's so cute. I've seen a lot of uh, screenshots of her. Um, so, Kara was actually based on, uh, or like a while ago when they were showing off the PS4's capabilities, they had a demo that uh, David Cage wrote like a technical demo where Kara was like an android and she got pro progressively like happier about being alive until like she started getting dismantled and then she didn't want to die and uh, I think that was the in entire basis for this game basically like they kind of took that idea from that demo and made like a whole game about androids and uh, I mean obviously the game took a long time from then to pretty much this year to establish um, because there's so many options in this game from the looks of it anyway and what from what I've heard that uh, I think the script that David Cage wrote for this was like really really big like 10,000 pages or something like that it might have been even even been more than that which is just absolutely insane considering that most like movie scripts are maybe like a couple hundred at the most depending on how long they are um, it's pretty insane <laughs> what he went to through for, uh, you know, choices, and this game, like, takes his ideas from, like, Heavy Rain and, uh, stuff like that to, uh, he, like, just increase. Whoa, this is a horrible neighborhood. What happened to that house? is just, like, burnt down. This is really setting up the world. Sorry, I was kind of talking over, but I even saw, like, that... That a uh, homeless guy had a a sign that said "Lost my job to Android," so that's interesting. Ooh, this is pretty. I like the autumn. <laughs> oh, yeah, is that the same girl? I think that's the same girl we saw in the store. I recognize it from that jacket. Whoa, this is gorgeous. Holy shit. So we got like androids raking and stuff like that. Like, could you imagine a world like this where you could just sit on your ass and androids just do everything for yourself? Like, I mean, androids are becoming a thing. Like, people are making them right now, which terrifies the hell out of me because of the implications um, of stuff that could happen. Whoa, hey, whoa. Okay, hello. But, like, we could just be even more lazy than we already are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I want that slide! That's awesome! It's just, like, this adorable little elephant slide. That's super cute. And this android's playing with that kid. Like, you wouldn't even have to spend time with your kids. Like, look at that. Although, in a way, that's a good thing. Like, if you're, if you're a parent and you work a lot and you can't really spend time with your kids, at least it's, you know, useful to have something that can... 
Um, you can buy once and not like have to pay a babysitter over and over again. Because even babysitters have lives and all that stuff. Where androids technically don't, they just are commanded to do stuff. It's pretty insane. Oh, look at this hu nice human rea uh, interaction here. Like, I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that. Like, it's such an interesting idea, um, but I feel like... Well, let's run across, woo! Um, that I feel like it would just be... It, it would kind of ruin society in a way, you know? Hey, what's up, buddy? What's going on, cops? Look at... oh. Hey, lady, what's going on? Cops just standing there, alright. Can I buy a hot dog? Peace? Hey, move it. You're scaring away my customers. How? I want to buy a hot dog or a pretzel, please. Maybe a drink? I mean, I don't need to eat, but maybe I can buy one for somebody. Are you deaf, you plastic fuck? I said move. It. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alrighty. A lot of people, well, he doesn't like me anyway. <laughs> Okay, let's just move on then. Uh, hi. This is supposed to be in base seven. Oh, okay. This is crazy. Like, look at how much detail went into the world just like around this little area. Whoa, they got flying ships. Or no, those are drones. Sorry, never mind. I thought like that one in the 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 background looks so huge. I thought it was like a as like some kind of spacecraft, but it's just like a little drone. That really threw me off. Ooh, that building over there is pretty. Wait, is that? There's like a news thing there. Oh hey, what's going on, fellow android? Ooh, a guy playing guitar. That's pretty awesome. Human music, one dollar to hear music with soul. Haha, <laughs> okay. So that's supposed to basically tell us that, uh, I guess androids probably can play anything. You know what I mean? And it doesn't have as much soul or like as much meaning because they don't have emotions to really display what music gives to people. That's pretty interesting. Kind of like a little on the nose, but whatever. <laughs> Can I buy something from you? There's like a handprint thing here. This guy's just selling hot dogs in general. I wonder if you can actually like see that menu. It's really kind of hard to see. I see desserts and stuff like that. It is an android selling hot dogs though, so... People protesting against androids? Okay. So we gotta, okay, I keep getting, like, told not to go certain ways, so. After Mankind, 3021. Okay, so they're, now their movies are set in the year 3000. That's kind of cool. Because since this play, takes place in 2038. What kind of movies we got on display here? Uh, Anna Maverick and the Last, and the Lost, Lost Kings. Kind of looks like a horror movie, or kind of like Tomb Raider or something like that. So thirty twenty one is supposed to kind of look like a Blade Runner type movie. They even have like names made up for these invasion. Well, that's a kind of a cool looking alien. I like that. Raken, the Last Guardian. A lot of these four star movies. Andy Turin and Target. That looks like a kind of a Mission Impossible type thing. That's kind of neat. I like those. They didn't even have to add the detail to uh, the movie posters, but they really did, and that's really cool. This is a, a lot of really good world building. That's probably also why this game took a long time. Like, they just had to, uh... Okay, yeah, I thought I could just go ahead, but... Wait, what does this sign say? This is like a big triangle. No androids are allowed. Oh! So even stores, like, are just like, fuck, get, get out of here, no androids. I don't want to deal with them. Go into the paint store, I guess, is where we actually need to go. 
Wow, this is beautiful. So much color in this game, I love it. Oh. Verified. An android selling paints too, alright. Here is your order number 847. That will be $63.99. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. You just pay with like the little headpiece? Wow. That's interesting. I mean, that probably doesn't seem too far too far off either. Like, they would really have to encrypt something like that, though. Like, it could go really bad just being able to blink and, like, pay for shit. I'm sure they would find some kind of workaround before they, you know, actually could, like, did something like that. Maybe just, like, link to your brain waves or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Bus stop is not this way, okay. So, oh, we can actually go over this direction now. Good, good. Deliver 16. Harmon Bank. Yeah, like, there's so much color in this world. Like, the Harmon Banks is blue. That's, like, really yellow. Like, it really adds uh, a whole lot to uh, identifying things in the world. It's kind of like banking at CIBC, which I do. Um, they have like that really bright red color to distinguish themselves apart, or like TD Canada Trust. Oh, okay. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? <laughs> this guy looks like Jared Leto. What the fuck? Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. It's because you pushed me down, you piece of garbage. Jesus. So these people are mad that we're stealing the stealing the jobs. I see. It's kind of got like a little real world uh, type of thing going on with like the immigrants in the states and stuff like that. Do it. Alright. But I mean, it's enough. I can understand. Like I know it. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it! I'm gonna have to find you. Wait. You can take your job next. Con Connor's kind of doing that. He's kind of taking police officers' jobs. I think it would be a lot harder to make an android as a police officer, though. Um, but I was gonna say it's like a little on the nose with like the immigration type thing with the androids. But I mean, it is a real world thing that would happen if androids existed. Like they would be taking jobs. It's just. It seems realistic to me, like I know that a lot of people would probably be complaining that it just seems like a little too ridiculous and like on the nose and in the message just trying to say, but yeah, it's uh, this is really cool so far, like I love the world building in this, like there's so much stuff being set up already, oh okay, this is the bus, okay, we'll wait for the bus then, like it's really quite interesting, like he put a lot of thought into this. And I'm sure, like, there's gonna be a lot of stuff since we're only focusing probably, like, on a, uh, a select few characters that we're not gonna see, like, a lot of implications, um, about certain things. At least I don't think we would. Android compartment. Oh! The androids are separate from the humans on the bus, okay. I wonder why that is. Is it to prevent, like, fighting on the boss, bus, probably? I mean, I feel like people could still antagonize them when they're in the compartment and stuff, but... Huh. This is really interesting. So much stuff to think about already. Marcus took the bus. Whoa, what? Listen to Busker... There's like two other things I missed here. Huh. I wonder what those were. Well, these episodes are going to be a lot longer than what I normally do. 
Like I'm expecting like 40 to uh, an hour, um, 40 minutes to an hour, because uh, there's gonna be a lot to go through in this game, so. Oh yeah, it's Kara. Holy shit, is this where this guy lives? It's a really rundown neighborhood. Like the siding's just like destroyed on a lot of these houses. Like, why would he spend money on an Android and like not just you know save up money for a freaking new house or something? I guess it's the luxury of having a a freaking Android. I guess I don't know. I do like the the fact that like all of the characters I've been controlling so far are androids. It kind of like is really meta in that way, like because you're they're being controlled by the people in the game, but also by you. The housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it! Where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice, Alice. Oh, there you are. That's Alice. Oh hi. You look after her. Oh, the little fox bath. toy. That's oh, cute. Crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here. Then Todd is his name. Okay, for sure. I might have missed that if they said that already. I like this little maid outfit she's got. It's kind of cute. Alright, so we gotta do some chores. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Thrilling. <laughs> Oh man, look at all these pizza boxes. There's just one right on the stove. Oh. Maybe. I didn't oh, there we go. Depends on what you need. Who's he talking to? Okay. Dishwasher yeah, not working? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. You can just order like broken parts. That's that's pretty yeah, cool. Can Todd afford that though? <laughs> Considering like how run down his place is. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that using the touchpad to like scrub a plate and stuff. You know, d doing dishes has never bothered me. I don't know if that's like a weird thing. Like we have a dishwasher in my house, and I we used it when we moved into this place like three years ago, and. I have never used it since then because I found it too slow. I'd rather do dishes by hand like Kara is doing. Does that make me weird? Like, do people just hate doing dishes? Like, I, I get that is a thing with a lot of people, but it's never really bothered me. I probably caught it from my mom because my mom's like a really clean oh, freak, yes, and so is my sister. So, or both of my sisters are kind of like that too, where they're we're kind of OCD about that shit. So yeah, like, this stuff doesn't really bother me too much, like, there's a lot of, uh, cleaning. Like, I would never let my house get like this. Like, it's quite ridiculous. Uh, oh. Okay, where do we need to go? We need to bring- oh, we gotta bring Todd a beer. Okay, he just said that. Sorry, I was not paying attention. <laughs> what is it? He's got, like, mayo in the fridge, that's it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, this little girl is living, like, the worst life. Is he watching hockey? Okay. Like, wow, look, look at all these frickin'... Oh, collect trash and trash bin. Oh, okay, so I gotta do that first. Okay. Um, like, look at all the beer bottles and, like, Chinese food and, like... All this stuff. This is crazy. To start collecting shit. Paper plates everywhere too. Oh my god. Ashtray. Wait, where did she put the pizza boxes? <laughs> they just disappeared from the table. That's really weird. Does he have a like some kind of Roomba thing? Oh yeah, it's like one of those floor cleaning things. Okay. Got books and shit. Probably sports books. Let's clean his table off. He's gonna get like right in his way. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you do that work. How did she fit 
the pizza box in this tiny little garbage. <laughs> That's a little inconsistent and hilarious to me. Oh, hey, what's going on? Poor girl. You're living in a shithole. I can't clean those off? That's weird. Alright. What's this? What kind of sports magazine or some shit? Oh, yeah, I gotta collect those pizza boxes too. There we go. <laughs> I hope I never... Like, I hope that... Androids do exist, but I kind of hope they never do for this reason. Like, it just gives people an excuse to just be slobs, especially as, like, somebody like him, you know? It's quite ridiculous. Whoa. Credit card application form rejected. Invoices, he's total due $500. You could be in wor worse in debt, I think. $500 is nothing. <laughs> Compared to some people that have like 10000 or more dollars in debt. Especially like students that uh, go to school and stuff. They have to pay off debt for like so long. Ooh, this is nice. And a little change in camera there. Can I just leave? Can I just walk away from Todd? Just watch the bus come along. See ya, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it won't let me. So I guess, like, these gates, um... Whoa. Construction going on. Oh, they're making, like, a big old bridge. A better place to live. Rebuild North Corktown. That's pretty awesome. It looks very futuristic. I like it. Return to those. Yeah, those must be, like, your programming, like, telling you you can't leave a specific area. That's a pretty cool design choice, because, like, since you're an android, it actually, like, gives you, like, uh, instructions where you can't leave because it's in your programming. That's very meta, too. I like that. Report to Todd. Can I walk in his way and just get him, like, super mad at me? Out of the way, <laughs> That's awesome. That's a cool little touch. I like that. Oh, he knocked all that shit down just for me to clean it up. Is that what he was doing over here? What a jerk. Just knocked that shit down. Like, look at the stains all over this fucking bookshelf and stuff. That's crazy. What is that? Is that like a tattoo? Or something? That's pretty neat. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Okay, well, sorry. Um... Fine. Let's just walk in his way again. Oh no way! Okay, that's that's kind of cool. All right, <laughs> that's pretty funny. It won't let you walk in front of the TV again. Kind of want to see like what's on this this uh, fridge just to see if it adds anything. Well, all right, let's go upstairs. Why not? Clean up Todd's house. I like this cute little, like, hairstyle car. It has, like, the little bun on the back. I have, like, this weird, like, thing with uh, women with short hair. I don't know why it is. It, it, which is weird, because my wife has, like, just lo the longest hair I've ever seen. <laughs> it's crazy. Wait, wait, what the hell was that? Wait, they just... I swear I saw an Android number and uh, something on that magazine there. What the hell was that? Oh, of course I can't see it from here. They're not going to show us what that is? That's interesting. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I have to like flick up the controller to like open the window. It's pretty neat. There's chips everywhere. Beer bottles. God, how much does this guy fucking drink? Jesus. That's insane. Like, it's it's interesting, because, like, you just think about, like, how long um, this would have taken to, like, animate all these, like, little things. 
of you just cleaning shit up. You can read reread discovered articles in the extra section. Okay. That's kind of cool. Whoa! That's pretty neat, like, striping down and stuff like that. Cyberlife unveils Android quarterback. Oh, wow. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players, with top-tier games still exclusively a human affair, but that may be about to change. Following Cyberlife's recent unveiling of technical demo QB1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide. Holy Jesus. The model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized man specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adapted in real time. That is really cool. He was unveiled at a recent Cyberlife exhibition in Detroit where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding edge technology. But while Cyberlife's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kenstone, founder of the anti-Android fan group, sees in a sinister aspect. Cyberlife know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same way they have all the others. Okay, despite these rever reservations, some consider this simply a matter of time with basketball and ba baseball already contemplating Android players. L LED sporting QB might be just around the corner. Huh, that's really interesting. The price of life, how driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. Space tourism, is Mars your next holiday destination? What the hell? People can travel to Mars in this universe? That's cool as hell. I like that. When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident... Whoa, okay, I didn't mean to do that. That was weird. <laughs> when, a, they, when a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of two pedestrians to hit, but the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. Martin Forlong of Crown Cars tries to clarify... In these situations, the car's imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expense, expenses, <laughs> expectancy. Wow, I could not say that. In etc. In the blink of an eye, that's really fucked up. This data is parsed through the public record to determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car then assu assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. What the fuck? This should never be a thing. What the hell? That is fucking messed up. Okay, well... <laughs> I wonder what Todd thinks about that fact. Like, he seems to be a sports guy. Like, considering there's a... Um... Like, a jersey up there, and he's watching sports, and... All that stuff. Um... I wonder what he thinks of, like, an Android, uh... Quarterback, you know? Like, he seems to be fine with, um, buying one. Antidepressant. Oh, wow. Whoa, okay. There's a gun. Oh, wh what do you want? What did I just unlock? Why did I just unlock the fact that there was a gun there? That doesn't bode well. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> Well, should I have not seen that? Is there no choice whether or not to see that? Oh, hey, it's Alice. What's going on? Okay, we, uh... I'm not gonna switch on the TV. Um, we have... Okay, thanks. I, uh, just cleaned your room, but sure, whatever. Oh, I gotta clean out the toilet after Todd just took a shit. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Seems pretty nasty. Pizza shits. Pretty gross. This is a nice... I, I kind of like the color of this bathroom. Like, it's really destroyed. And, like, run down and stuff, but... Oh, hey. I can look at myself. That's really strange. Alright. <laughs> Eh, that's not the worst bathroom I've ever seen. Just kind of have to like tidy up a little bit. Oh, it's got one of those mops. These things suck. Like I don't care what anybody says. I think these are worse than like 
any other mop I've ever used in my life. I, I prefer using like a mop that I use to like clean a restaurant or something like that. Like the those are way more effective. Optional attacks. Oh, that was optional. Okay. Is this Alice's room? Of course, the door is closed. Oh shit! Uh, I'm sorry. I um. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? What's this? A book? <laughs> oh, uh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I just said. But oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> wow, a lot of those look like the same book. Seems you like reading. Nothing wrong with that. It's good that she's reading. At least she's keeping herself busy. Oh, look at that! She's play like trying to get up to the sun. That's cute. This is a little elephant. Is that an elephant? Well, no, it might be a dog, actually. It just kind of looks like it has, like, a beak or something. That's really creative. I like her. That pillow looks really dirty. Uh, she has to sleep on that? Like, even that animation, that's so interesting. Like, they didn't even have to add that, but it's so realistic. Like, so much work went into the animation. What did I just unlock? A dialogue or action or beneficial. Okay. Oh, I can talk to her now. Okay. What's going I'm on? Sure be friendly. Be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. I don't you know why you would scare her. What you like to do? You're like a very like motherly figure. Her favorite foods. It's like her that would her face and everything, and like the way she talks. Your father said you chose my name, Kara. It's nice. How did you choose it? <laughs> she doesn't want to talk. Okay. I just unlocked a path, apparently. That's interesting. Okay. A key? What does it unlock? Wait, what? what? I don't remember this being here. What the hell? Oh! Oh, that's what the key's for. Okay. Is that a clover? A four-leaf clover. Huh. It's interesting. Pretty. I wonder why she has a clover in there. Is this for extra luck? Is that what Todd used to look like? Yeah, that guy gained a lot of weight over the course of a while. <laughs> oh, look at little Alice. She used to be blonde? That's interesting. Okay. I guess I used to be blonde too, and then my hair got darker as I got older, which is kind of weird. Like when I was really, really young, it used to be blonde, so... I guess that can happen. Oh, what the hell? Oh god, he looks so evil. He got like the freaking tracksuit on. Looks like he's hitting... I'm assuming that's Kara. Oh! Oh, okay, I thought that was like tears coming out of her arm, but that must be the blue blood that androids are made of. Okay, so when Todd was saying that she got hit by a car, he was lying. I knew it kind of sounded weird when he said that. It seemed very suspicious. So he just killed... Kara? Why, though? What happened? 
Huh, that's really crazy. Do I want to go downstairs? I'm kind of afraid now. <laughs> Why did he hurt Kara? What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Okay. Say it! You hate me! Doing. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. So that's why he has antidepressants, because he's a little bipolar, kind of? Well, I guess maybe the bi that wouldn't be technically bipolar, but. Um, he's clearly going through some shit. He's got, like, uh, kind of, like, anger issues, I guess. Disturbed, Todd. There's another option there. Wow, I missed a lot at the beginning. Huh. What the hell else could I have done? That's strange. I got most of the stuff at the the bottom half here, so that's good. What the hell, man? So, he, uh, is that why he destroyed, like killed Kara because he has like anger issues I guess it sounds like he's trying to get a job he can't afford anything he calls himself a lowlife huh and takes it out on his daughter holy shit Marcus you got a maid here <laughs> holy crap <laughs> this is crazy well, we're going to continue on in the next episode of Detroit Become Human. This is really interesting so far. I'm really enjoying this. And I can't wait to see where it goes from here. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode. This is completely different from a lot of stuff I normally do. Because uh, a lot of the time I'm just talking about whatever. But this game is really captivating me. Um, so, as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.